Good morning, everyone. Um, first of all, I would just like to apologize for the delay in getting this video uploaded. Uh, no excuses really, other than it's been very, very hot recently. But other than that, I've just been plain lazy. Anyway, my previous video was a little guide on how to build the Primaris Dreadnought. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a little video on how to paint it. Uh, my aim is to paint it very simply. So it will be basic colors, basic guides, and uh, hopefully won't take that long. Anyway, I will show you the next bits uh, once I've done that. So as you can see here, I didn't actually glue all of the model together. I thought it would make it easier for uh, painting it to do it separately and then glue it all together at the end. Um, I glued the legs onto the base, but everything else is uh, separate, as you can see. Um, one important thing to note is on this main body here, the front piece that I'm pointing at now actually comes out. You can uh, take it out just like that and uh, it'll make it easier to paint. So uh, I'm going to keep all of those bits separate as well um, and paint them all individually. Uh, and there's just the uh, hand and also the uh, plasma gun uh, as the weapon. So uh, yeah, um, that's probably the best way I will do it and uh, we'll see how I get on. So for this step, I'm just going to prime the model and give it an undercoat of black spray. Uh, as you can see, I'm using Wilkinson's own spray paint because it's fairly cheap uh, and uh, it's going to hopefully just do the job just as well as the uh, Citadel paints. Um, one bit of advice I will say though is that if you are going to do this yourself, then please do it outside because the vapors given off are not very nice and it's not certainly a job for doing indoors. So make sure you spray your models outside in a very well ventilated area. So here is the undercoated model. I managed to break the gun, which is not good. Um, so a tip for this stage is if you're gonna undercoat the model by spray paint, all the areas that rotate, I would suggest you actually put those in place first of all. So that when you actually spray paint the model, the areas where they clip into don't get paint on them because the reason my one broke is it got paint on them and they stuck and I forced it and it snapped. Lesson learned, but uh, don't do what I did. So here I used Rakarth Flesh for the pale areas, so they're a base coat. I used Balthasar Gold for the edging around the middle section. As you can obviously see, I used McCrag Blue for the majority of it, and I did two thin coats for that. And last of all, I used Lead Belcher for the silver areas. Uh, next stage coming up. Hello. So as you can see, I've now added a little bit of detail. Uh, the yellow areas were done with one thin coat of Avalan Sunset. Uh, I did the same for the red areas, but used Mephiston Red. Uh, the green area is actually a mixture of McCrag Blue and Avalan Sunset. Um, and then I also used the uh, Abaddon Black to do the black areas. Um, so there are the base coats sort of added on and uh, the next stage is um, a little wash. So I will show you that once I've done that bit. So for the wash, I used Agrax Earthshade and I did that on the silver parts of the model. And for this main piece, I also ran it across the front panel just to enhance the detail. Uh, on the gun, I did it on the glowing part of it and also the silver areas as well, just to enhance it. Uh, this front panel, I did it on the gold area just to enhance it and on this glove and hand I did it on the silver areas only just to bring out the detail on the gun and last but not least on the legs I did it on the silver areas and uh, I'll show you the finished model once it's all done. So here is the finished model. I have to say I'm really pleased with how it turned out. 
Um, I had a bit of an experiment with the base uh, to try and do a lava effect and I think it came out really well. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do another video, uh, just a quick guide on how I did the lava effect on the base because it was very simple but I think it looks very effective. Anyway, I'm going to leave you now with a few photos of the finished model. Thank you for watching and take care. Bye bye now.